welcome back everybody to Baldur's Gate 3 hope you are having a wonderful day now I was thinking about it and I think this is one of the main goblin leaders and we have this uh, as goblin princess so get her from that's fine get help Ulam investigate the parasite so that's fine but we have this defeat the goblins right so now we need to deal it, uh, kill the goblins I feel like if I kill the goblins then we investigate Kaga kill Kaga and save the first druid I think I don't know if this will get locked out or not right so I wanna I wanna go and I wanna go and uh, finish some of the side quests first like for example if I see here right uh, let's go out first uh, I think there is a chest here <clears throat> that might be worth a look <laughs> can't go in uh, that's fine let's go here uh, follow priestess guard kill Kaga speak with Saza and the trowel we'll do that later but first let's go out first I want to check if I can save that bear right <laughs> yes, you are. Anything above? This girl. No more chicken chasing. Seems like it's all about the money for some, and I ain't got any to bet. Uh huh. I'll be taking. Right, go on then. Fat bird's yours. Don't need the asshole. Yep. Thank you. Poor creature. I hope you can follow my scent to the camp. Okay, yeah, he can, right? All right. All right. Let's go out. There's a few stool here. All right, let's check it out. So you got the goblin cam. So that's fine. So that was this. Ah, uh, let's do. Car let's go to Karlak. All right, we'll go to the blighted village, and then let's go this way. I want to check it, this this place out. So let's go to okay, Blighted Village. Nice. We'll go this way. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got the roasted meat. That's fine. What's here? Nothing. Oh, there's something. There must be something here. Let's check it out. No? I think? Alright. Now I think we can jump this. So there's something down there. Yep. The Risen Road. Traps, please. The Wizard of Waterdeep. What's that? Uh, 
Gale's condition had worsened again. He requires us to give him another magical item in order to observe the view inside. We gave Gale a potent magical item and he was able to observe the view. Okay, again? My condition is worsening again. I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile. Alright, fine. Alright, let me see what I can give him that's not too useful. Hell Rider's Pride, Helm Protection, Amulet of Unworthy, Grant Resistance to Slashing Damage, Grant Vulnerability to Volgening Damage, Smooth Start is nice, Sunwalker's Gift, Helmet of Smiting, Komira's Locket, Whispering Promise, so this is all equipped by her, right? I think Amulet of Unworthy sounds nice, yeah. Oh, you are not getting that. Thank you. Right. It is a strange experience. Each time anew, I come. Kind of lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. But. Mm. This doesn't feel quite right. I mean, it never feels right, but it relieves. This doesn't relieve. Oh. What's wrong? <clears throat> the magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire and merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle. The fire remains undefeated. Okay. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was, too. A great deal of trouble, indeed. You okay, buddy? Uh... Take that. Karlak is there, and this is find Githyanki patrol. Search for signs of a Githyanki crash near the mountain pass in the. So that is fine. Let's take that. Let's take that. Let's take that. Looks empty. Uh, lessons for sensible living, cities, and how to survive them. Alright, fine. Oh, there is something here. Wow. Gnoll Hunter. I guess we can go. Let me save it. One, two, three, four, five. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. Anything of use? Beast reeks of brimstone and offal. Every breath is thick with blood. Okay. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. You watch with cold realization. This isn't the end of one life, but the start of another. Uh huh. Knolls, vicious, monstrous humanoids can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. Okay.
Her belly splits like a rotten fruit, oh. birthing a frenzy of claws and fangs. Okay. Why? I am surprised. Is it going? Oh, it's call calling them. Wow. That's fine. What if that hyena's going for help? All right, fine. Twin spell. Let's do this one. One. Bloated, bloated. So they'll. Nice. You die. He's dead. My faith will protect me. All right. So let's go I ahead a little bit. Uh, piercing shot. Thank you. I guess I can't. I don't fancy their chances. Do I have the candle? I can't drop it. I guess I can't. All right, I can do acid arrow. Right. A little bit too far away. In striking distance. Uh, this is level two spell. Uh, shatter. You can do shatter on him. Thank you. Dead. All right. I will ascend. Let my path be true. Not enough movement. Uh, menacing attack. Ah. Missing attack again. Thank you. Ah! Critical miss, nice. Oh! You all get it. Okay, target is too far. All right, and this is an action. Poison damage. Thank you. Yeah, yeah come closer. Seething fury. Uh, miss, nice. All right, so. Do I have AOE effect? Secret flame. Did I die? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Seeding fury. Ah. Okay, you wanna dash? Fine. You dash. Alright. Uh, 
let's do let's do I guess this is the only one I can do right nice thank you I don't have any bonus action Does anything that can be used as a bonus action? I don't see it. A portion of feather for our portion of glorious vaulting. Uh, basic poison. To two. I will ascend. Okay. You also get the basic poison. You also get some. I don't know what this dark mind I can use it for. Uh, but let's use the melee maneuvering melee. Sweeping attack, menacing melee. This is your end. Oh, I should have used this one first. Ha, <laughs> huh, miss. Nice. Okay, you wanna dash? That's fine. Alright. So now. One, two, three. Thank you. One is dead. This one is almost dead. Thank you. Dazed. Oh, no. Alright. So we'll use... Use off to an attack on, on him. Thank you. And then we'll use this one on here. Critical hit. Die. Nice. Miss. Uh, can't reach. Uh, only can be cast out, so replenish any spell slots. Alright, fine. Uh... I will ascend. Make way. Dash. Not enough movement. Maneuvering attack range. I'm not sure what else I can do. But give it to her. Let's go. Okay, she's dead. He's dead. Whatever it is. Twin spell. Chromatic or One here, one here. Nice. The other one is dead. Can't reach destination. I mean, I can dash. Turn around. Smell spilled blood a mile away. Mangled corpse. Let's take all this. Okay. Okay. Page. Okay. Shipment ordered. 
find the missing shipment. We found the remains of a car on a note on a coast mentioned available chair someone called and have perhaps someone survived this pass. Okay. Is it rotate high enough? Look, how much farther can I go? What's hiding here? Wooden barrel, nice. Always room for more. Go ahead, I'm listening. Okay. Uh, I need to take a rest soon, but before that, mangled corpse. Let's take this. No hunter, let's take that. Mangled corpse. And. E. Rip cage. Mangled corpse. Visera. Alright. There is a dead hyena there. Can I get below? Anyway, let's take a rest to the camp. Aha, this guy is here. And where is my cub? I don't see it. I don't see it. Alright, let's talk Very to him. Well. Ah, uh, uh, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> What do you know about the mind flares? Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Mm. As a matter of fact, I do. But why do you? Yeah, I was captured. You're mad! But, tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. I can't attest to the specifics, but I do know that not long after insertion, the host, that's you, turns into a mind flayer. As there's not a tentacle on your head, I can only assume you haven't been infected. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous. All right, let's see. Examine me, find out for yourself. Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. Mm -hmm. Come on. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet God! If we managed it, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Alright. Uh, Volo has decided to remain in our camp, having... 
Okay, I don't need that, I guess. Uh, let's go to sleep. Let's see what this does. Oh? What's happening? The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Your hands shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched no matter how much you wipe. Chukil gate vlaketh mazathok. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. Let's do this one. Success. Your blood runs quicker, feeding the gnawing absence at the center of your mind. Lazel's fear grips you, not fear of death. But fear of insignificance. The great warrior Lazel, a failure to her kind. She will wield no silver sword, ride no red dragon, forever unknown to the great Lich Queen Vlacketh. Okay. I will not let the Geich take me. I will earn Vlacketh's honor. I will wait. But know this. I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. I came just in time. You are transforming. This is the this is the, our protector, right? Yes, you have. I saved you before. Yeah, when we fell of the naughty lord, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. Fine. We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. Okay. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. All right.
fight for the fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. All right. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. All right. Embrace your potential. Uh, okay, so does it mean I can consume the... The Blade of Frontier. We recruited while a monster hunter known as the Blade of... He is on a mission to kill Karlak, a powerful delete who is a danger to the entire Sword Coast. Oh, what's he got? Let me see. I can't consume yet. Let me see. Can I consume the Mind Flayers now? Type. Consume. This one is a true soul parasite. It can enhance you. Okay. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. All right. Let's do that. Your mind swells as it subsumes everything the tadpole has to offer. Everything it was and everything it was destined to be. Pure potential. Pure power. You have grown your power and improved your chances of survival. All right. How about this one? The other one? Where's the other tadpole? Oh, it went just here directly. All right. Oh, here, right? Uh, here. Oh, okay. Favorable beginnings. The first attack roll or ability check you make against an enemy target. Alright, let's do that. Luck of the Far Realms. When you make a successful attack roll against a foe, you can change. Okay, yeah, that sounds nice. Passives are the way to go. What are you saying? Let me see. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. Uh huh. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket, I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. Nope. Ah, uh, no. We are not doing that. We are not doing that. You only have a matter of days to live. Don't dally. My friend. Uh huh. Nope. All right. Let me see. Ah, my good. Quite the cozy setup you have here. All right. All right. Let's check the crate. Looks empty. What is this? Aha. Uh -huh. well, there is something below. 
moving in. What's in here? Okay, let's take this. Whatever killed those gnolls might be nearby. Careful. Ha! Take the camp supplies for sure. Wow. Before I want to see what's here. Oh, there is a cave. Okay, let's just go below and finish off this quest. Right, I guess they are below, so we'll go below first. Troll collector's key. A key? Uh -huh. I wonder what it opens. Yep. So there is a mergrass here. Oh, this is the other side, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the other side. Harlack. Oh, see, he's here. Let's save this. Let's go talk to her. Devil Will has been tasked to kill. Me! Never been better. Uh huh. Oh, fuck me. It's you from the Nautiloid. Please tell me I found you before those so-called paladins of Tear did. Nice of you to ask. Lately, I've gotten used to being called Devil. No follow-up questions. Mm -hmm. The truth is, well, it's a long story, and I'll tell it, but... A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies. As you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. Ah. Uh. Mountains as far as the eye can see. Guess that explains the voices. From that peak I got into your head, you've made some inroads trying to get the thing sorted. But alas, no joy. I'm Karlak. And you are. Well met, soldier. Now that we're old pals, how would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Mm-hmm. A little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good at killing demons. Really good. So good, Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me her personal attack dog. Mm. 
played along until I could get the fuck out of there. Took me ten years to properly escape, but now I'm free. Zariel sent goon after goon to hunt me down. But believe me when I tell you, I'm not going. The latest yappy little dog she sicked on me are nearby. A group of dopes posing as paladins of tear. Wanna help me take them down? Sure. Fuck yes. They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. After we've mopped them up, we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? She's, uh, perhaps a little rough around the edges. But I suppose I can be smooth enough for two. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. I'd hug you if it wouldn't scorch your skin off. Hang on, though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? All right. Rescue Wolo, that's nice. Let's go to camp. Oh, there is a backpack here. Let's see what's in the backpack. Nice. Oh. Let's go to camp. <laughs> Let I me see. Well met. My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. Proud. No. Angry. Angry at the monsters preying on innocence. Angry at the so-called good gods for tolerating the cruelty of the evil. Angry mm -hmm. at myself that it took so long for me to see the coast suffering. The frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. And it's nice to meet someone of your talents. Having a worm wriggling in my skull didn't instill much confidence in the days ahead. With you as my ally, the future looks a little less daunting. I think that unknowable powers come with unknowable consequences. I can't say I'm not curious. But once you've taken a lithid by the talon, there's no telling how deep into the abyss it might drag you. Why? Let's do that. Favorable beginnings, charisma. Nice. Advantage. Nice. 
I'm more than a bit wary. I admit. Still, I am the Frontier's avowed protector. New dangers require new skills to vanquish them. If the Tadpole must be my curse, then let the powers it grants me be the Sword Coast's blessing. I will consume what I must to make it so. All right. Mm, that's how her move away for Kalex a bit. Got the brawn of a warrior and the wiles of a survivor. Best of all, she speaks her mind plainly and fully. Show her due respect. Mark my words, this power would be no blessing but a curse. You might as well ask me to gouge out my eyes for the promise of sight, or slice off my tongue for the promise of taste. Uh -huh. Consume all the gate tadpoles you wish. I'm not so craven. <laughs> Okay. Good. Perhaps you. No, that's absurd. When the tadpole has stretched to every pore and slithered through every vein, what am I to do then? It won't hear my screams. It won't care if I beg. I will be remade in its image. My right. faith in Vlacketh will guide me, and my own might will sustain me. I have no need of this depraved power. I guess so. can roll it again nice you you might be right the githyanki have long studied geik and used what we've learned the zaphisk itself was devised from such knowledge the tadpole is perhaps not just a curse but a weapon i can twist and mold to my advantage very well I will swallow my disgust and avail myself of the parasite's powers. Nice. Chuck, you believe you can survive without <laughs> me? As you. All right. Um. Let's talk to a stallion. Do I need to do it with everybody? You we were a strange band, but a fugitive from the hills. <laughs> now that's someone worth knowing. Not that I want to get on the wrong side of any devils, but this Karlak is a survivor. Plus, I appreciate anyone who opens a conversation with threats of bodily harm. Huh. Why do you insist on exhuming the past? Okay. I was a slave. A vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands, but now I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. Nice. Let's talk to Kalak. Hmm? Trust me, I'll tell you all about it after we take care of the goons on my tail. All right. Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? Yeah, let's go straight there. 
Whatever those fucks are getting up to, it's nothing good. Just to say, by the way, they're not really paladins. Lackeys of the Archdevil playing dress-up as paladins of Tyr. No honor among devils. You really did it, huh? Not worried about adding more illithid into the mix? Well, what can I say? You look fine, smell fine, seem fine. If you got a little boost from the tadpole, who am I to begrudge you? <laughs> In fact... Got any going spare? You know... I think I would. Bit surprising, but I'm... Starting to see the silver lining of this whole parasite situation. Thanks, soldier. I'll use it well. Promise. Yeah? Let's go, go, go. Nice. Okay, let's let's see her powers. I will to check her. What she Alright, so what she can do? Opportunity attack. <coughs> Unarmored defense, your body is as resilient as, as any armor. Okay. Dark vision. Alright, so she can detect traps. Reckless attack. Until your next turn, you have advantage on attack rolls, but enemies also have advantage against you. Wow. So she is basically pure strength, huh? And I guess we'll accept. Wild heart. Uh, Legacy of Awareness, Searing Smite. Weapon damage, deals an extra 2 to 12 fire damage. Sets your target on fire. That's nice. Subclass, Wild Heart. Your attunion, attunion, attunement with nature and its beast inspire your rage, empowering you with supernatural might. Gain the passive bestial heart. Uh, spell, speak with animals. Yes! I needed that. Uh, violence is both a means and an end. You follow a path of untrammeled fury, stick with blood as you thrill in the chaos of battle, heedless of your own well being. Frenzy, your rage turns into a frenzy, you gain frenzied strike and enrage throw. You can also make an improvised weapon attack as a bonus attack. Alright, uh, frenzied strike and rage throw. Uh, wild magic. Uh, no, I think I like the wild heart. Bestial heart. And speak with the animals. Until long rest. This sounds nice. A bestial heart. Choose your bestial heart. You can change your heart whenever you level up. While raging, you can use unrelenting ferocity and have resistance to all damage except physical damage. Eagle heart. I can use dash as a bonus action. That would be really nice, right? While raging, you can use primal stampede and your movement speed increase by 4.5. You can use the divine strike, a diving strike. Foes also have disadvantage on opportunity. This tiger... So this is jump. I think Eagle Heart sounds nice. So Wolf Piercing Beer Piercing mm. Nah None Enter a rage that makes you near untouchable and this is okay. Then let's test this. Nice. Barbarian level four. 
new feet available. Uh, this is fine. Eagle heart is fine. So she's a barbarian, right? So let me see. So this is mage initiate. I think I want to change her. Like I think her strength should be 18. Dexterity 14, right? Ability improvement. Let me see. Athlete, your strength and dexterity increase by 1 to a maximum of 20. When you are prone, standing up uses significantly less movement. Your jump distance also increased by 50. That would be really nice, right? So I can dash really good and I can jump really good. Defensive dual, dual wielder, dungeon dweller. Weapon Master. I think you gain proficiency with four weapons of your choice. You mean she already has? I guess she has all the weapon proficiency, right? Okay, let's do the athlete. So we'll increase one. Uh, strength or dexterity. We'll do strength. Nice. All right. So well, let's see. Thanks. Oh, she has. Can't she do speak with the animals on her? On him? Alright, fine. Let's talk. It's her, Karlak. The Archdevil's servant. We must rest in camp. It's time she had her due. Shit. Well met. Taste taste. What? You can't talk to her? Okay, let's talk to the scratch. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Master. Friend. I stayed with him until... Until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him. But I'm glad to have met you. Let's, uh, Let's march. Let me see what kind of the watcher's guide. Okay, let's wrap things up here. I'll put proper equipment on her. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.